gospel of Christ. I'm not ashamed of them. I'm not ashamed to tell nobody that I love Jesus. We ashamed of it. Look at them patty pat cat. Look at you. We ain't got no heart to talk about we love God. We don't trust God. We trust ourselves. We trust our job. We supposed to be the salt of the earth. And we walk around like we pepper. We ain't the salt of the earth. I'm the salt of the earth. That's why everybody got a problem. He's a wonder. They just say it was a wonder. He's a wonder in my soul. See, that was just, see how? Ecclesiastes. Ecclesiastes. I ain't got time to be trying to pep, pep nobody up. You ought to be pepped up if you know who he is. You know, I, I just sit back in my office and I just, I just had a, a moment. And, and, and because he a wonder in my soul, I trust him. I want to ask a question. If I preach and everywhere I said Jesus, I said Yahweh. Would you would you still live by what I preach? Then it said, Yahweh is the opposite of Joshua. So if I call him Joshua, would you do what I say? If I just change Jesus, huh? So now the problem is the problem ain't, ain't just Jesus. Because I can call him Yahweh. I don't have a problem calling him Yahweh. But will you keep his commandment? Will you still walk and talk right? Would you marry and not be hoeing around? Would you stop cussing? Would you stop lying? It ain't, it ain't the name that started. It's our lifestyle. Who is Jesus of Nazareth? Talk to me. Who is that? Buddha and Muhammad and all of them don't have that. If I said the most high, would you do what he say? Everybody try to find a way to get past what he wants in his word. But I'm going to say Yahweh if you want me to say it. Now, now we don't touch him. We don't touch him. We don't move. We don't move Jesus out of the way. Now it's Yahweh. If you love Yahweh, keep his commandments. The way to sin is still death, Yahweh. What y'all gonna say now? Hell or heaven, Yahweh. Yahweh, is you the salt of the earth? Is you saved? Is you born again? Yahweh, most high, is you born again? You want to talk to me about who this is, who that is? It says stupid, knowing the truth, seeing the truth, but still believe a lie. That's stupid. Now I'm took all the power out of it. It ain't no debate now. It ain't nothing to argue about. But it's still Jesus. No man can be saved by the name of Jesus. Or no man can be saved by his name. What's his name? Jesus. Call it what you want. Call it what you want. I got respect for God. If he said he had a son, I don't care what you call him. But if it, is he of Nazareth? Everybody's telling me an Israelite and have been living in Pensacola all their life. But whatever you, you still got to be born again by Yahweh. 
How y'all eliminate being born again? You know, everybody talking about who wrote the Bible. But you know, when you look up Yahweh, you go to a Second Chronicle, and you start dealing with Yahweh, but it ain't spelled like they spell it. So it's still a lot of it's still a lot of confusion. They want to take out the J, but then they don't spell it like they spell it. He just dropped that back there to me in, in the bag. Let me tell you why people what is repenting. It is a change of mind that lead to a change of heart, that lead to a change of action. In salvation, this change involves both. Huh? A turn from sin and a turn to God. <laughs> Have any of y'all turned? Have any of y'all turned? Have, we, we talking about, I'm going I'm to turn from God, but I ain't going to turn from my action. Ecclesiastes, the fifth chapter, beginning at the fourth verse. That's why I'm the salt of the earth. Saw the earth. One is a light told a lie yesterday that I had on a, a, a bulletproof vest, bulletproof pants, full armor. So I had on the full armor on the corner. I had on a what them thing is, an overhaul for the cold. But I had on a full armor. I ain't never had on a full armor in my life. Unless he seen the Holy Ghost. He might have seen the Holy Ghost. <laughs> And thought that was an armor. He might have seen me covered. Because you know they said God will put a hedge around his man. He might have might have came out there to kill him. I don't know. Might have just seen something. Let me get to this, because we ain't, you know, y'all ain't excited like that. And Ecclesiastes at the fifth chapter, beginning at the fourth verse. He said, When thou vow and vow unto God, defer not to pay it. For he have no pleasure in food. Pay that which thou hast vowed. Oh, Heavenly Father in Jesus. God, your son is here again. I don't know if I'm the only salt of the earth, but I'm one. God, you call for us to be the salt of the earth, a light of the world. God, I see everybody got a, a problem with that salt and a problem with that light. But God, if man want to kill me for being the salt and the light of the earth, God, let them do what they got to do. But God, I'll trust you till I die. You say if you be lifted up, you'll draw all men. I ain't got time to lift up me. But I got everything I got in me to lift up you. God, have your way in this service. I know the people don't care about the how I preach or they, they be bothered with what I preach or how I preach. But God, that ain't the problem. They got a problem because I want them to live right. By your word, not by what I say, but by what you say. God, but you have your way in this service. God, if ever I give you the praise, I give the thing. In son Jesus' name we pray. And every heart can say amen, amen, and you can have a seat. I got a great word here today. From Yahweh. We're going to see what Yahweh had to say. In a week, Cornerstone, since everybody uh, confused y'all and make y'all think we in church too much, we got 168 hours in a week. And we give 14 hours a week to, at Cornerstone to God at church. 168 hours in a week. And people telling y'all, y'all be the church too much. Who told you be the work too much? But y'all say y'all love him. That's what y'all say. You know, this, this, this robe here is special to me because I had this design for Mitch and Tyra Mary wedding. And so when you see me got it on today, 
we finna have a wedding service. I want everybody to pay close attention because they marriage was special to me because they did it the way God said do it. So since it was special to me, I had a special role made for them. All the way down to the sock. Put the camels on the sock. Let them see what I roll them with. But in this marriage that I'm talking about, there are some vows. And I ain't just talking to the marriage couple. I'm talking to everybody that confess Christ. Because when you confess Christ, you made a vow. Huh? Y'all talk to me. When you, when you come up here and repent, you making a vow. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Y'all thought y'all going to get out of here. But you can't get out of here. Let me, just, let me just break this on down to you. The wedding vow. I tell the symbol, take Katrina symbol to be my wedding wife. To have to hold from this day forth. For better or for worse. For richer or poor. For in sickness and in health. To love her. Cherish her. To death do her part. Now not just to the married couple. Y'all didn't hear that when I was when I was when y'all were marrying y'all. Cause now all y'all wanna get out of here with your vow. But you vowed that to the Lord, not to me. I did the ceremony. Except for better. For rich. And now all of a sudden, y'all don't know really. Let me come on. I'm coming. I'm coming. Let me just let me just now, now Terry. I Terry Sim, take God to be my my God. To have, to hold from this day forth. For better or for worse, for rich or for poor, in sickness and health, to love and to cherish, to death do a poor. Now, a lot of people change out on that vow. Because when you join this church, you made a vow. I ain't make nobody join. You made a vow. You joined the church. Who divorced you? For to be the son of earth, it said, pay what you have vowed to God. He said, you made a vow to God, not to a apostle. Well, let me just tell you what vow means, since y'all don't know. It says to, to promise, solemn, swear, declare, or oath, pledge, promise, commitment, guarantee, a, 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 a guarantee, give one word. One by which a person binds himself to an act of service or condition. A serious promise to something. That, that's what your vow is. Now a lot of y'all don't confess to Christ. That's a vow. So when you don't serve him, he's still waiting on his pay. So all y'all talking about y'all love God, he's still waiting on you to you show it. He waiting on you to do it. I, I just got a word. I had a word, and, I, and God just had me flipping all kind of way. But I'm going to just give you what. Let me just give you this. I'm, I got to go that way. He said, for Romans 1, 16, he said, for I am not ashamed of the gospel. Now y'all have made vows to God that you love and you're ashamed of them. You're ashamed of We get married today. Mighty well. We talking about marrying God because we already know how y'all feel about y'all marriage. So we're going to let you marry God. So if you marry God, this is what God said. He telling that thing. He said in Mark uh, 10 and 9, he said, What therefore God has joined together, let no man put it asunder. Apart, divide, to break apart, into, into separate and separate pieces. If I put it together. But y'all took the vow. Read right him. Came in the egg now. This is what he said. He said, he said, for I am not ashamed of the gospel. That's why people got a problem with me. Because I'm not ashamed of the gospel. I know who I'm supposed to be. I'm the salt of the earth. 
I'm a light that I can't hide myself. We talking about I'm married to God. Ain't that what y'all said? Mm -hmm. Listen, he said, for it is the power of God that I don't be ashamed. Under salvation to everyone that believes, to the Jew first, also to the Greek. He come back in Romans 10 and 11. He said, for the scripture said, who shall ever believe on him should not be ashamed. Why he keep talking about who shall ever when the, when, the, when the Israelites tell me the white man can't be saved? And they talk about the dirt. Y'all ain't finna preach about that, but I just want to tap that in there. Because I, like me and my wife were riding on the beach. And they said we were made from the dirt of the earth, right? We were, right? Uh -huh, uh -huh, wasn't it? But I remember me and my wife were riding on the beach. We seen black saw and white saw. Y'all ever seen in the red dirt? Beige dirt? That's just like all of it is. We got all kind of colors. My word today to you all, brothers, the church, I'm talking to the church, Joshua, Yahweh, or Jesus, brothers, since y'all say y'all are still say that your old God paid every vow made. Talking to every female in her, every male in her, every repentance that you don't say Every confession you don't say it, when you don't sin and you came in here and told God, God, I won't do that no more, pay it all. It's what it said. Brother, that you owe God, pay it. Pay it. He said, every vow. Y'all don't want to get quiet now. Let me give you what pay means. Give someone money that is due. God ain't want no money. Get that you told him. Give it to him. If you told God you love him, pay that vow. Keep his commandment. Pay it. You can't pay him with money. You can't get it. You know, a lot of people don't go to church because they really don't want to pay tithe. That's, that's God, ain't it? So if you love God so much and you don't made a vow to be with him, why you ain't still paying the tithe even if you ain't going to church? I'm the salt of the earth. Mm -hmm. This is what he said. He's talking to He said, for work done, you want to get paid. Receive a debt that you got to pay. He said, recompense, giving payment or atonement. Then what payment mean? He mean, whatever you don't say, give your atonement for Get your payment for it. Y'all ain't got to say nothing. He said, in giving order a certain amount of money in exchange for something. So when I confessed that Christ, he gave me his son. So in order to pay him back, I ought to give myself back to him. All y'all that confess that Christ, have you gave yourself up yet? I ain't talking about in sin. I ain't talking about confess with your mouth. He said, if you love me, keep my commandment. Y'all just sung the song. Come on, y'all. Let's get married today. Let's get married to God. We, we ain't going to sit in here and, and, and try to divorce God because we want to hold out another God. We don't sit here and avoid God because we got something else that we still hooked on that we shouldn't be doing. He wanted all of us. When you got married, your wife ought to be all yours and your husband ought to be all his. So when you told me you made a vow to God, you confessed to God, you ought to be all his. I see y'all already dropping your head. Because repentance is a vow. Your confession is a vow. I told you I'm going to flip this one. I'm going to flip it every way God let me flip it. Let me tell you the next thing. I made a vow to the Lord and I can't take it back. You can't even take the vow back. You know what I'm saying? He, that's why he went on you to pay it. You can't take it back. Everything we don't told God, you can't even take it back. 
And he's sitting, out, he's sitting waiting on you. Got my hand out. Pay that what you vow me. Come on, y'all. You made a vow to the Lord. Every time y'all don't repent, y'all ain't did none of it. He waiting to pay. That's why, that why there's a division in the church. Some of y'all ain't paid y'all vow. Y'all don't want to tell the wrong that y'all don't did and the things y'all don't say. I heard what Jabba told y'all yesterday, and then you try to act like you don't know it. People would take a chance in the lotto knowing they have a slim chance to win. But we'll not trust in God. They will have a better chance with God than the lotto. It's a slim chance to do it. But every day, every night, every time I go to the store, I see somebody playing a lotto. But if you tell them about God, man, you know, I ain't, I ain't really. But look how much money you on lost just to win a hundred. This is the other part I got for y'all, too. Y'all gonna call it three part, four part, eight part message, or whatever y'all wanna call it. God is looking for a payment. So all of us sitting here, y'all think about all the stuff y'all don't told God. I, I know how y'all do it, because I did it. God, if you get me out of this. Pastor, I ain't did what you told me. I ain't did the thing you told me, but you ain't still ain't done it. Y'all don't think y'all owe me an apology for that? When I don't told you to do something and you ain't done it? That's what Jabba was trying to tell y'all yesterday. He was just telling y'all, said, look, tell him the stuff you don't done that you know it bother you. You know, like me getting on y'all cheering him. Y'all should have told me. Y'all had a problem with that. You know, don't, don't try to act like it. You know, the stuff I say about your house, don't act like that. Tell the truth. Satan's not asleep. So why are we? He ain't asleep. We telling him, repent is not when you cry, but when you change. You know, a lot of y'all, hey, impossible. I just pause. I just. <laughs> Sooner you tell him what you do, you do crying. Wasn't no hurt there. Y'all talk to me. Y'all ain't got it. Y'all, we going there. Y'all, y'all, no, don't, don't. I ain't let that out yet. Listen to what he said. He come back and said, he said, and my Tyler said, have respect for God. Don't just tell him anything. This is what he said. He come back, he said, keep thy foot when thou go to the house of God. He said, and be more ready to hear than to give a sacrifice of food. Man, open your mouth up. Talk with your mouth. You know, that's why he said be slow to speak. We quick to say, I'm all with you, pastor. We quick to say, amen, means so be it. That means if I tell you you're going to hell, you're talking about, amen, you said so be it. So if you living wrong, you don't make vows, you ain't did it, you said so be it, God, let me go to hell. That what you tell him? You tell him, God, it's all right. I don't mind going to hell. You ain't saying nothing. Sometimes it's not the people who change? It's the mask that fall off. They ain't changed. That's who they've been all the time. They just had a mask on. You just call them without their mask on. This is what he said. I told you, I'm, I'm, I'm looking at me and say, he said, keep thy foot when thou go to the house of God. He said, keep your foot. Don't let it slip before you get to the house of God. Keep your foot. This is what it said, Luke 6 and 46. He said, and why call you me Lord, Lord, and do not the things I say? How y'all going to tell me y'all make vows to me and y'all don't do what I say? I made a vow to the Lord, and I can't take it back. Everything you don't told him, you can't take it back. This is what he said. He coming out, he said, then to give the sacrifice of food, got an S on it. He said, for they consider not that they do evil. Y'all consider that y'all don't do no evil. That was the scripture saying y'all consider. This Ecclesiastes. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter, preacher. Y'all making vows to God. It don't mean to keep them. But God is looking for his payment. Huh? I made a vow to the Lord. I can't take it back. Ooh, brother. That's your old God. 
pay it. Every vow. This is what he said. He coming on now. Now, I, I got y'all attention now. He said, for they consider not that they do evil. Be not rash with that mouth. Can't nobody tame that thing but God. And if you making vows to God and you ain't got tamed yet, you know one thing, you still in control. You don't want God to tame that. Most people that's in the church, they don't want to stop what they're doing. Y'all don't want to stop living wrong. Y'all don't want to be the salt of earth. You don't want to be a light. Let's get married today. Might as well. Y'all coming in church acting like y'all want to marry God. He said, what he said? He said, be not wrath with thy mouth and let not thy heart be haste to utter anything before God. And every time, church get out. Before church get out, let me go up here and repent. And let the church see me. Down in your name, Jesus. Get up. We praying with him. We making vows to God. We telling God, God, I'm through with this. I ain't going to do this no more. And you get up with the same thing. Prophet priest met one time. She said, get rid of all the weight. Leave all your weight up here. And y'all think God ain't going to get y'all. But for going back to where he going to bring you from, it's a no-no. After he don't clean you up, he tell you that's a no-no. He tell you that's a no-no. And everybody think they can go back and talk, making these excuses. God, you, 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 you know I, I, I failed. And God don't want to hear that. Because when I call you and I got you clean, I didn't fail when I did it. This is what he said. He said, he said, he said, be not rash with your little nasty mouth. With thy mouth. And let not thy heart. Be haste to utter anything before God. For God is in heaven and thou upon the earth. You're still in the earth, man. That's why when people talk about me like, like, the, like, like the Israelite, he going to have to answer God. Your God let you lie? My God don't let me lie. The most high don't let me lie. I'm going to call him what y'all call him. I don't mind calling him the most high because he hiding in other God. But he don't let me lie. He don't let me hold money. See, y'all trying to make him something different from Jesus. That's why y'all want to call him Yahweh. But if y'all say he the same, because if you say he Yahweh, then you identify that Jesus, God had a son. Because I don't care how y'all do it. This is what he said. This is what he said. I ain't going to get there. He said, for God is in heaven and thou upon the earth. Therefore let Thy word be few. Stop running your mouth to me lying. Stop telling me when you hear a message and you be convicted and you ain't ready to stop. Don't come up here repenting because that's a vow. Don't come up here telling me you through with it and you ain't through with it. So I guess if y'all ain't through with it, y'all won't be coming up here today with it. No, no, no. We making it clear today. When you come up here, if you ain't ready to be through with it, don't come up here because you ain't ready to be through with it. That's a vow. I ain't gonna let y'all keep making a wrong decision. You making bad decisions coming up here lying to God. Like you, but some of y'all might not be saying nothing. But let me help you there. That's still a lie. Let me talk to y'all. He said, pay that. You have vow. You make a vow to God, not to a pastor. Boy, I love that right there. That just keep me out of the war. Listen to what it said in Psalm uh, 50 and 14. He said, offer unto God thanksgiving and pay thy vow unto the most high. Yeah. It's in the Bible. It's in the Bible. I ain't out of, I ain't out of, I ain't out of. Y'all, the, the Israelite ain't read that scripture. Israelite ain't read that. I know they ain't read that. I know they ain't read that. The black Israelite, the pink Israelite, they did not read Psalm 50 and 14. Let me read it again. Offer unto God thanksgiving and pay thou vow unto the most high. Talk to me. Yeah, read it. Read it. Because it's the most high. He said pay your vow. Don't vow nothing to me. And then try to get rid of Jesus. And then like you ain't got the payment. I said, pay it to the most high. 
Now what you going to say? That's a pre-sale. That's a pre-sale. That's a pre-sale. Did you get it right? He's telling these things because he wants to know. And that's why he come back in Matthew 6 and 24. You can say the Most High. You can say Yahweh. You can say Joshua. You can say Jesus. This is what he said in Matthew 6 and 24. No man can serve two masters. Tell me how. They didn't want to blame the white man. In Deuteronomy 28, the first 14 verse, 15 verse was the blessings of obeying God. From, from, from what, 15, 16 to 68 was disobedience. So the only way we got on slave ship, ship is we're going to say that we disobeyed God. And we're still disobeying God now because he said that was a, a 614 commandment. And he said, we cannot do them all. No, you don't plan to do none of them. I ain't going to tell you I can't do them all. I ain't got nothing to say about that because I trust him. I'm the salt of the earth. Why y'all make excuses that you can't do them? That's what they say. Y'all ain't got to say nothing. When you are looking for a loophole in the word of God to justify doing, your doing, huh? what you're doing, you won't want to do. The enemy would gladly help you find one. That's how they find scripture. They find scripture to make excuses for their doing. Why you ain't saved? Why you ain't with God? Why you ain't married to God? Tell me why. Everybody tell me they love God. Why you ain't the salt of the earth? Why you ain't the light? Why you still doing what the world do if you love God? If you confess him? If you made a vow to him? If you don't repent it? Why are you still going after the world when you tell me you married to God? Well, maybe God needs to divorce you. Huh? Y'all ain't saying nothing. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Let me come on down here. He's talking to us. He said, lukewarm people. You know them lukewarm people, them lukewarm Israelites, lukewarm church people, lukewarm Baptist, Methodist, Emmy Zion, lukewarm people. He said, lukewarm people don't really want to be saved from the sin they want to only be saved from the penalty of sin. They don't want to be saved from their sin. They want to make sure they ain't going to hell. You going. You going. Every time we sin, can I tell you, ask me why, Jeff. Every time you sin, what? You divorce God. Every time you sin, you tell God, I don't want no more part of you. That's what he said, too. Man, he preached so hard to people, people ain't going to even be saved. That's why they ain't saying now, because they won't go where they're, where they're preaching at, where the truth at. I ain't going to have nobody play with me. Who is Jesus of Nazareth? He said, listen what he said. He said, in, in the vision of Psalms 66 and 13 and 14, he said, I will go into thy house with a burnt offering. I will pay Thee that my vow, which my lip had uttered. Everybody writing, everybody looking. He said, pay that what you want to utter out your mouth. Y'all heard what he said? Brother, sister, that you owe God pay it. Every vow, not some of them, not if. Well, I'm going to pay my tithe. He ain't talking about that right now. He's talking about them things you told him you're going to stop. If you ain't coming up here to, to repent for real today, don't come. This is what he said. He said, which my lip have uttered and my mouth have spoken when I was in trouble. <laughs> Boy, hey, there's another precept. See what I'm saying? Y'all, y'all ain't know those scriptures in there. I'm, I'm giving you precepts. I don't want to give you a whole reading of it. I'm going to just give you a precept. This is what it said. Let me read it again. I will go into the house with burnt offering. I will pay thee my vow, which my lip have uttered and my mouth has spoken when I was in trouble. I wouldn't have spoke that if I went in no trouble. God forgive me, though. God uh, forgive me. Forgive me, Lord. I was in, I was in some trouble then. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, I had to repent, God. I heard the word. In the, 
Boy, I was almost, I was almost ready to go to hell. <laughs> Boy, oh my God. What y'all gonna do now? When the elder told y'all what to do? Where did that come from? Did that come from God? Or did that come from the elder? Because a lot of us got stuff in our heart we just ain't got rid of yet. That's why I'm the salt of the earth. I don't care what nobody said to me. You can check, check the scripture. You can check everything. I already checked it. That's why I can preach it. I made sure what I would talk about. You know what I'm saying? See, I don't know why God had me talk about the most high because I didn't know that was in the scripture. But I, hey, he put a nugget there for me because he would give me some precepts. I, I just believe God is just that good. Let me give another precept. The ways of sin is death. That's a precept. That's a precept. You're going to die if you keep sinning. I'm trying to preach my heart. I don't, and this might be my last mess. I don't know. But I'm going to preach every mess like it's my last mess. I ain't changing who I am. I'm the salt of the earth. I'm a light. I'm a, 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 a what they say? A fine brimstone preacher. I don't know how all of them stay behind the pulpit when they say like fire shut up in the bone. Well, why are they making you move? If I make me move when I touch it, they sit there trying to be eloquent. The wages of sin is death. And the gift of God is eternal life. No, the wages of sin is death. You're going to die. You're going to die. I want to make it urgent to you. You're going to die. Keep sinning. Because I don't want you to die in your sin. To tell it like it is. I know y'all y'all ain't coming around me anyway, so I ain't lost no friend. He said, Thou is upon the earth, therefore let thy word be few. For a dream come through the multitude of business. Mm-hmm. Just business. And a fool voice is known by multitudes of words. Just run in your mouth. Just got a clacker, 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 clacker. They got a little thing in our house. The children got, you wind up, it ain't no more teeth clacking. And that's what y'all sinners do. Y'all flesh of people. Y'all keep telling God what you're going to do. Your mouth just clacking. You don't have no intent to do none of it. My sister told me she don't want to go back in the garden. Why are you going back then? If I don't want to go somewhere, I ain't going. If you knew where it was before, baby, you ought not to go back there because you might not get out this time. He might let you get out the other time. He might not let you get out this time. You made a vow to God that you ain't going back. Now, you can play with it if you want to. But now, y'all, now, if I were, if I were prophesying her a car, y'all wouldn't have no problem with it. If I were prophesying one of y'all a man, y'all wouldn't have no problem with it. But that's my sister, and I don't want her to go to hell. That's my sister. But that's the way I love y'all too, but y'all want to go anyway. You ain't got to send nothing. He said, he said, look what he said. He said in the fourth verse, what I was trying to get to, he said, when thou vow a vow unto God, defer not to pay it. That means you refusing to pay it. Ain't nobody got your hand. Ain't nobody got you twisted. You just ain't going to pay it. Now, y'all, y'all, take a few minutes. Just take a few minutes. How many vows you done made to God, y'all, and ain't, ain't paid them? Ain't cashed them in? You know, because soon you get a check, it going to the bank. You get a credit card, you going to spend something because you got money. Now talk to me. All the things God done gave you, all the vows y'all done made, which one you paid? Let's go a little deeper. All the things I don't told you about your life, your marriage, your children, your house, everything. Come on. Don't pay on to me because you weren't making a vow to me. I told you what God said by the word. Did you pay them? Did you cash them in? See, that's what we do. We won't cash in what God is telling us. That's what God is telling us. I ain't through. I ain't through. He said, when thou vow a vow unto God, defer not to pay it. He said, for he have no pleasure in the food. The fool said in his heart, not with his mouth, there is no God. When you don't do what the precepts say, you say there is no God. Call him what you want. Him. 
V-O-W. Vow. Boy, think about all the vows y'all on me. All the repentance. All the confession. God, if you just give me a hug, I'll do what you want me to do. If you give me a wife, I'm telling you, God, all that you want. God, if you send me a check, stimulant check, I, we make all kinds of vows. God, let me get my tax this time. We lie to him all kind of way. Cause we pray to him like he's the vending machine. Shake it, shake it. Oh, oh God, I got it. That's what he said. This is what he said. In John 1 and 20, he said, For the wrath of man working not the righteousness of God. For your thought pattern. And everybody that like God is a candy man. Like all he got to do. You know how you see the ice cream man when you come around when you were little? Well, let me just talk about me and a coat. The candy man, you come around now, and I don't have no money. Everybody hollering, glad to see the candy man. I'm glad to see him too, but I can't buy nothing. All right. So when God come through the church, some of y'all can't buy nothing. Some of y'all can't get nothing from him. Huh? He, he getting out to his children. The promise is to his children. Not to the liars. That's your daddy. That's what he said. He's talking to her. He said, look, he said, he said, better is it that thou should not vow, that thou should vow and not pay. Brother, sister in the church, that you owe God, pay it. Every vow. And you know what he got you at? Ask me, Ellen. A lot of y'all don't remember him. Some of y'all been in the church a long time at Cornerstone. And y'all been violent there since y'all been here. And most of y'all ain't changed. We talking about him. You know, like, that, like the, the particle that stayed home, the hypocrite. You you been here you been here when everybody else been gone, but you ain't ain't paying none of them that you vow. All you did is talk about the people that were gone, but you might as well have been went, went, went with them. Either we gonna come up to where God wanted to, or we gonna get put out. He said, "Suffer not thy mouth to cause thy flesh to sin." You hear that? Y'all didn't know that was in that scripture. He said. Suffer not. Let me, let me read it because I don't, don't, don't want to mess up no scripture. You know, they'll mess. He, he, he said, Suffer not thy mouth to cause thy flesh to sin. Neither said thou before the angel that it was an error. Don't, 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 don't be on made no vow to God with your mouth that's going to cause you sin. And then all of a sudden now you want to say it was an error. But you know there ain't no error when he say what you know to do good and don't do it, it is sin. So it wasn't no error. For all y'all ain't loving each other, you act like you're loving each other. They act like y'all ain't got no problem, but you got some problem. See, them lie. Amen. Let's get married today. Might as well. Because you're married to somebody if you ain't married to God. I'm going to let you say who it is. I ain't, ain't, ain't going to say it's the devil. It might be a man, it might be a woman, it might be a job. I don't know what you're married to. You fill in the blame. Who you married to that got you can't do what God wants you to? Who you dating that you can't date God? This is what he said. He said, suffer not thy mouth to cause thy flesh to sin. Neither said thou before the angel. That it was an error. Wherefore should God be angry at thy voice? Are you, and you trying to pray to God, he's still angry with your voice. He's still angry. He already know your heart and you ain't finna do nothing. He said, and the squad of work on your hand, everything you touch, even though you think it's going good. He said, everything your hand touch. That's why everybody be talking about Apostle Simmer, but everything I touch turned to gold. 
Even when my son went right, I could still get a prayer through. Because I said, the prayers of the righteous in very much. Now, your prayers ain't righteous because you got some stuff you owe him. He told him one scripture, go to your daddy. Go to who you've been worshiping. Y'all know that scripture. Don't try that like y'all. Do the rum. Come on, y'all, let's move. Because I know y'all got to go eat. Y'all bellies, y'all go. Y'all ain't here to serve God and have a good time with God. The most high is speaking. The son of Yahweh. Yahweh told me to occupy till he returned. <laughs> They're going to say, he, a, he, a, he don't change, man. He a, he a, he a black Israelite. No, I'm still clear. I'm still serving Jesus. No, I'm just, I'm just helping you. This is what he said. This is what, y'all got Deuteronomy 23? 21, 21, 21. Come on, y'all get it. Now, I know that like y'all slow. Y'all know Deuteronomy. Listen, he said, when thou vow a vow unto the Lord thy God, thou shalt not, not slack. The pay it. What slack mean? You got to hew to the line, hew to the line. Pick up the slack and hew to the line. Your vow is dragging. Pick up the slack and hew to God. Y'all slack. Y'all got some slack in y'all vow. Talk to him, Paul. Tell me the y'all tell Paul to the priest. Say amen or something. When thou shalt vow. A vow unto the Lord, not to part of the thou God. He said, thou God, thou shalt not slack the pay. For the Lord, thou God, will surely require it of thee. So you mean you tell me you can't get away? Boy, some of y'all been, the ways you're going to get y'all in hell. Because God's going to get it payday. He might have sent you to hell to get it, but you ain't going to get it. Because the ways of sin is death. That means you got to pay. Some of y'all in here, I ain't seen y'all teeth today. I know what that means. Conjunctions, conjunction. This is what he said. He's talking to us. I love him because he, he woke me with it. Listen, he said, for the Lord thou God will surely require it of thee. And it and and it would be sin in thee. See, you start to tell you now. See, y'all thought I was lying. And you can't get your wallet. This ain't that kind of pay, y'all. You can't pay, you can't put no good offering in the church. You know how the dope man do? They come in and drop a drop a hundred dollar off in the office that they keep the hanks off him. No, you going? You still going to jail? Fed don't care nothing about God. Fed got to get you, cause Fed don't did inventory. God ain't hiding none of that. Y'all want God to disappear the dope in your house? Now y'all know this crazy. Now I just got to talk about it. The average person know if you put ten thousand dollars in the bank, they gonna get you. They're going to check on you. These jokers was trapping dirt, dope and had $100,000 in the bank. You know they coming to get you, and then you ain't even have a job. They need to give you a lot of time. I ain't lying. That's just dumb. Boy, I kept that thing in the box. Shoot, $10,000, they come to your house. Hey, hey, uh, I'm a federal officer. And we just seen that you put ten thousand dollars in the bank. What do you think they're gonna do with hundred thousand? The whole fed coming. They know you doing something wrong, and they don't check your social security. You ain't got now checking the last twenty years. She got to pay that now though. She got to. She got to. She got to pay that vow now though. Well, look, they the court ain't studying that now. She ain't even got no bond. That's where y'all gonna be when you get to hell. You ain't got no bond. You ain't gonna have no bond neither. Don't get mad with yourself. Y'all trying to throw me out, but I ain't gonna let you. He said, it would be 
sin in thee. He said, but if thou shalt forbear to vow, it shall be no sin to you. That means if you, ain't, if you don't want to sit in him, don't be rapping him out. Just don't tell him nothing if it ain't there. But that's all right that if you don't do it today, you still owe that. That's what he was talking about. He wasn't talking about your confession today because your confession today might be right, but he's talking about all that you owe. You know what else bad though, Jap? You can't file bankrupt. <laughs> Ain't no bankrupt coming. God is not passing up. He said the ways of sin and death. He no bankrupting. What they said, the seven steps, some seven, some. What it with, with bankrupt? You do the seven years, whatever. God said, "Is he turned?" Look at what 27 verse said. He said, but if thou should forbear to vow, it shall be no sin to thee. That which is gone out of thy lips, thou shalt keep and perform even a free will offer. He said, according as thou hast vowed unto the Lord thy God, which thou hast promised with thy mouth. You promise it with your mouth. Boy, that's something. I don't know what y'all gonna say about that. But come on, y'all. He, he, he trying to trying to get us ready. This is what Matthew. Come on, y'all. Let, 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 let's just deal with this the way God wants to deal. Matthew 5 and, and 33. It said Jesus teach about vows. So it was a new telling, old telling, all over the place. Ecclesiastes. He said, in the 23rd verse, he's 33rd verse, he said, again, you have heard that it has been said by them of old time, thou shalt not for forswear thyself, but shall perform unto the Lord thou oath. You know, oath was one of the words in vow. You know how you make an oath. I solemnly swear. That I won't see it no more. I solemnly declare. I'm going to let y'all feel that in with your brain. You, you'll think back when I be saying that stuff. Like, I won't do this no. What? Holler that out. <laughs> yeah. This is what it said. He said, but I say unto you, swear not at all. He said, don't swear at all. He said, neither by heaven, for it is, is God's throne. He said, nor by the earth, for it is his footstool. He said, so you can't do it in heaven, and you can't do it in the earth. I own it all. The most high. So he got you, but it's Jesus talking though. Look what he said. He said, neither by Jerusalem, for it is the city of the great king. Neither shall thou swear by your what? Your head, because thou can not make one half, white or black. So I'm the one to do that. Say, I don't want to do that. So all this stuff y'all trying to speak that I'm not speaking, you can't do nothing with your hair. That's what it said. He said, but let your communication be yea and nay. He said, for whosoever is more than thee come of evil. Come on now, y'all drop on down. Now don't be scared. He said, you have heard that it has been said, an eye for an eye. Some of y'all still there. Somebody do something to you, you got to do something to them. An eye for eye. Ain't nobody that's with Yahweh, the most high Jesus of God. Shouldn't do evil for evil. Y'all 
Y'all should also not feel that way about me. He said, an eye for an eye or two for two. He said, but I say unto you that ye resist not evil, but whosoever shall smit thee on the right cheek, turn him. Talk to me, church. He said, if I slapped you on the right, you all to turn to the left. I can't even preach to you all on the right, and you all to turn to the left. So I know if somebody slapped you, you ain't going to do it. Why, why would y'all get mad with the word that being preached? Brother, sister, that you owe God paid every vow made. I made a vow to the Lord and I can't take it back. You can't even take it back what you don't told the Lord. God is looking for his payment. He, he, he looking for his payment, and you can't say nothing, boy, when he's looking for your payment. Can't, can't say nothing. That's what I'm talking about, God. You know, there was a, a, a guy in the Bible, y'all can read it when you get a chance, in Judge, in 11th chapter, and what he was doing, he, he made a vow to God. Can I just talk to y'all for a minute about that vow? <laughs> he told the Lord that, he said, God, I'm going to make a vow to you. That if you just let me win this war, he said, the first person come in my door, he said, I'll kill him and give him to you. He made a vow. This one, I'm telling y'all how important the vow is. He said, the first one come in my door, God, if you just let me win the war, I'll kill him. And the first one came in the door was his daughter. And he started thinking about what he said. He said, baby, I'm so sorry. <laughs> baby, I, I, I made a vow to God. The daughter knew the, the tradition back then. And she said, Dad, just get me ready. And that you go on and do what you need to do. That, you know, you could be right. But he made a vow, and he couldn't even take it back. You know, most of y'all would have took that back. You know how y'all, some of y'all gonna say, God changed my child. If you change my child, then God changed the child, then you don't, you don't give him no thing for it. See, see what I'm saying? Because see, if, 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 if I was shunned, and I ain't saying you ain't doing it, but I'm just using you for example. If T.J. Jabba or Matt was cutting up for 15, 16 years, and I seen them making an effort to chain like train on chain, boy, look here. It'll be hard for me, y'all to keep me tied down to him. I'm going to get me somewhere. I'm going to get somewhere in here. I'm, I'm telling y'all, I'm going to get somewhere. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's, a, that's a big move. Look, look at what it says. 2 Peter 2, 20 and 21. I, I, I know y'all don't forgot about Eden. He said, for if, he said, for if after they have escaped the pollution of the world through the knowledge of the Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, they are again entangled therein and overcome. He said, the latter end is worse with them than the beginning. He said, now here y'all, I don't bring y'all in, and then y'all don't went back out, and now you ain't the salt of the world. He said, your latter end. You know goodness and mercy follow you because you can quote the scripture, you can know all the things you're supposed to do right. And God said, yeah, but you ain't doing that. I'm still looking for my pay. Whatever you think I got for you, whatever you think I want you to do, I'm looking for a payday. Psalm 50 and 14, often not. Offer unto God thanksgiving and pay thou vow unto the most high. Boy, I'm going to put that in my phone. This is what he said. This is what Psalm 15 and 17 said. Seeing thou have hated instruction and cast my word behind thee. One time you was a preacher. Now you don't cast God's word behind you because you don't let somebody else talk you something. You were preaching for all them years and now all of a sudden you're an Israelite. Y'all tell them all the time, y'all gonna leave him alone after a while. This is what it said in James 1 and 22. It said, but be a doer of the word, not a hearer only, deceiving your own self. Here y'all sitting here and hear the word all the time and ain't putting none of it on. God is looking for his payment. 
Everything you tell somebody, he going to hold you accountable for. Whether it be right or whether it be wrong. He feel, he know what you're doing. He know, he know if it's right or wrong. He come back in Proverbs 16, 25. He said, there's a way that seems right unto man. But the end there are the ways of death. He said, just do it how you want to do it. I ain't mad with you. Let's get married today. He's telling us that. He's telling us that. Look what he come back and said in Revelation 22 and 14. He said, bless are they that do his commandment, that they may have a right to the tree of life and may enter in through the gate into the city. Pay what you have vowed. Pay it to them. And as I come to a close, Deuteronomy, the third chapter. As I come to a close, bring this ship in to dock. Because y'all still going to do what you want to do. This is what he said in Deuteronomy 30 and 10. He said, if thou shalt hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God to keep his commandment and his stature, which he has written in the book of the law, and if thou turn unto the Lord thou God with all thy heart and with all thy soul, he said, give me all of you. Romans 12, present your body to me, a living sacrifice. That would do the Romans 10 and said, give me all of you. Y'all see it. He said, God is looking for his payment. I made a vow to God and I can't take it back. He's telling us of that. But you would rather take a lotto ticket and try to win than to cash in with God. Brother, that you owe God, pay it, every vow. This is what he said in the 14th verse. He said, but the word is very night unto thee. In thy mouth, your confession, your repentance, your vow, in thy heart, that thou may do it. In the 15th verse, he says, see, I have set before thee this day life and good and death and evil in that I command thee this day to love, to love the Lord thou God, to walk in his way, to walk in his way, to keep his commandment and his stature and the judgment. He said to keep all of it because you don't violate me that you would do it when you accept me. You violate me all these things, but you ain't keeping none of it. This is what he said. He said, he said, that thou may live and multiply, and the Lord thou God shall bless thee in the land, huh, whether thou goest to possess it. He said, but if thou heart turn away so that thou would not hear, you know, like finding somewhere else that you don't want to hear the truth. And why a lot of people don't come here, they know the truth is here. They know it's salty. They know it's a light. They know I'm, I'm in darkness. They know I can't be right. I can't just stay there. So I'm trying to get away from the truth because I really don't want to do the vows I don't told God. He know your heart. He know where your heart at. He knows whether you love him. He knows whether you want to do it right. I made a vow to the Lord. I don't care if I die. I don't care if, they, I don't care if somebody kill me preaching. I don't care they kill me walking down the street for the love of Jesus with a Jesus chair shirt on. I don't care. I'm not ashamed of the gospel. He said, whosoever believe in him should not be ashamed. Let people know who I am. Yeah, check your shirt out. Ain't nothing wrong with that. This is what he said in the 15th verse. He said, see, I have set before you. Y'all see that? He's telling us that. He's telling us that, and we don't want to listen. Oh, my God. He said, but in thy heart, turn away. He said, so that thou will not hear. He said, but shall be drawn away and worship other God and serve them. He said, but in the 19th verse, he said, you might not want to pay me, but I'm going to still get me. You know you say that in the world. I'm going to get me me if I got to tear that car. Or I've got to break the one out. i got to scratch the house up. If i got to get their children. That's how we talk. Brother, 
that you owe God, pay it. Every vow that you made, every repentance, every confession, 